Hey everyone, welcome to the second volume of what we are calling stash shaming here in Sadieville. I will be checking the clock intermittently. I might have to break this into two parts because I have a yarn shop update that goes up in a bit. But if not, let's just ride with the wind here. I am going to start off by saying, you saw this one in the last one. I'm using the Monaco even weave for that, I decided. It was an official decision. And I'm going to put that down over ya. Much to the chagrin of my sassy snoot. Um, super big, you can't really tell. I could stand up, but it, it's, there's no, I'm wearing really bad pants to be showing you, so I'm not going to. Um, then on this one, that I plan to do for the baby. Uh, the, several of these are being done, the different, the bigger, different version. So what I decided to do is I'm going to do Jack and the Beanstalk, uh, A Dog in Flanders, Rapunzel, and Peter Pan. And I'm going to do them all separately on this even weave, Monaco, 28 count. And I'll mount them all individually. I was gonna do all of them and then I decided not to because then I'll have some doubles and blah, 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 blah. The other one you saw that I said I was going to figure out was the Walk Softly one. I will be using this 18 count white antique white Ada. So those are the ones I figured out since we last talked. No. Actually, no. There's more. There's more I figured out. But I think you saw I'm doing the pottery on the MGC. Just going through whatever's on top here. The Guardian Spirits on the Zavigat 22. And we got the bag of stuff I've already figured out, which includes the Kathy Barracks, the Barbara Anna. Then I still have to go through and individually bag up because I am that crazy person. Got the Halloween, which is going on the hand eye. The Sewing Memories, which I have these individual ladies for. I call this the Canadian prep version because I got to get all this ready. We've got the Mini Maleficent by Heaven and Earth, Blue, which is done by Anya Kai. I've got the 25 count antique white Zweigart in the back, or no, this is Wichelt's. 25 count Lugana, so I just have to um, get the DMC for that. I'll be taking a drink now. All right, into the stuff you have not seen. And what I plan to do with it. Okay, this, this. And this, these can all go over here because they're possibilities. Okay, I've got this lovely cross stitch kit from a friend who I think she got it in Ireland or it might be coming from Germany. Either way, it's gorgeous, it's the full kit, and I totally want to do it. It's the Whimsical World of Thomas Joseph, and it's the You Are My Sunshine. Like, how cute is that? Okay, okay. Actually, I'm gonna put this over here for a sooner start. That one I've done. Okay, here are a couple of kits. I'm going to go with the kits. I've got this necklace. Got it 30% off at the uh, Pacific Fabrics. I have it's a little... It says magnet included. I don't think the magnet is actually in here, but I could easily get a magnet. And it's this bird seed, and it's just adorable. Um, this necklace, uh, this one's done on linen and it's more of an embroidery, but either way, that one, and then I've got a, the, the leather band, it's vegan leather, which means it's just plastic, but, and it comes with a few different styles, so these are our little kits that are going to go in the little kit spot I have. I cleared out a couple of shelves in here. I went through them and organized them. So there is actually space to put things, which makes me very happy. 
Okay, so let's start off by saying I have an addiction. And uh, I do want to stitch all these. Okay, it's 1220 something. So I've got another. This could be bad. This was a lovely gift. It is the Rain Queen, the Black Forest Pixies by Nora Corbett. And I want to do her, and I want to do her on something that's going to stand out. So, um, I might have to buy something for her because I think she needs something lighter than what I have. I don't know. I don't know. I'm looking at things and I think I might actually get the natural light Wichelt's. Just thinking. Then we have the mermaids. I'm trying to get all the mermaids because I have a thing for them. Uh, this one is waiting for ships. She is gorgeous. Again, I don't know that I have. I've got some really bright, wonderful things. I'm just not sure if they're right for these. I have Mermaid of Atlantis, although I may just suck it up and order the ones that go with these. Gypsy Mermaid, which is very pretty. Is this the one I have? I have one, no, the one I have, I have one kitted up and I don't think I brought it in. I think it's in the closet in the living room. Mermaid, Mermaids of the Deep Blue. And actually, you know, this one would probably go with it. I have, is 18 by 18 big enough? 10 by nine and a half. Nope, you won't work, you won't work at all. I do have a fat quarter though. Mermaids of the, they're cute. I really like this one. This is the Shimmering Mermaid. We've got Bluebeard's Princess. This is Merchant Mermaid, which my husband likes because there's a giant thing on it. I think that's, oh, no, there's more mermaids. I have a second Shimmering Mermaid. Um, I got one in a, in a threesome off eBay, and then my husband got me one. So if anyone's looking for the Shimmering Mermaid, message me. I have two of them. I think I put these in num numerical order, which is why there's a mermaid out of out of sync. But uh, mermaid Undine. So I'm just reordering these because I want all my mermaids together. Then I have started on winter of this one, and I'm going to do all of these on. I believe I'm doing the 28 count antique white MGC. I'll have to check with the first one that I'm doing. Or no, I think it's on mushroom, but either way. I'm doing them all on MGC, which I know can be iffy, but it's the spring in my garden, summer in my garden, autumn in my garden, and I'm working on winter in my garden right now. Then we've got Garden Verses. My Lady's Garden. Apparently I'm into the garden ones. Who knew? I really love this one. It's very not Mirabilia. It's the Le Nouveau Sampler. Then I've got Fairy Treasures. A Midsummer Night's Fairy. And Lily of the Woods. So those are all the mirrors I've got. And since I finished the Gypsy Queen, otherwise known as Stevie for Stevie Nicks, uh, yeah, I have I have winter in my garden on that I'm doing right now and 
should probably pick out another one. I have a Nora Corbett that's not a Mirabilia. It's the, uh, it's a mermaid. And I have her kitted up and ready to go. So it might, she might be the next one. Okay, into the box. Into the box. Like the big ass box. It's a BAB, not a BAP. Okay. Oh, hey, more fabric. I have fabric hidden away. I forgot about it. Ooh, how can I forget about you? You're gorgeous. I don't know what you are. Oh. You don't tell me. But you're 19 by 27. Oh, 28 count opal. Okay. Gosh, that's beautiful. And this is why I open things. Okay. Start off with what's on top. I've got the, this, it's a Lanart kit. It's the Marjolaine Bastin, of course. Owl in the Autumn Leaves, which I love. And, okay, this is going to start getting kind of cantankerous, isn't it? And then I have this one, which my mom got for me and got me all, I just need the, I just need, um, I just need a fabric, which I know I have easily, easily have enough fabric. I just need to do the, the math on this. And this is Joan Elliott's Live in the Spirit of the Season. And it's gorgeous. So there's that one. I'm just going to put this in here so I actually know where it is. 199 by 257. On 14 count, it's 14 by 18. So, we'll probably get away with just doing it on some uh, what the heck are you called again? Monaco? probably get away with doing it on some Monaco. Uh, 50 favorite pets to cross stitch, which is adorable. Pets are people too. My pets welcome the... Don't usually do a lot of small guys, but I like that one. Okay, this one I've done. It was my stack of done ones. Okay. I have... This one I picked up in Utah. It's my gorgeous orcas. My gorgeous orcas. Uh, 127 by 195 stitches. So it's not too big. And so I could, I could easily put that on something. I have the one I won from Julicious, which I really, I have the fabric. I or, No. Did I get the fabric? I think I ordered fabric and I didn't like it, so my husband took it to do an ink circles. But I think I have most of the DMC. I think I got, did I get the silken colors? Don't quote me on this, but I really wanna do this. Maybe I should kit this up and do it in October because it's perfect for October. I have, I picked this one up in Utah and I also want to do this. And it's 99 by 79. 99 by 79 so I could easily do this pretty much anything and it's kind of perfect grab this one at Valley Village and it is la -di da it's called softly walk it says softly walk and wisely speak lest you harm the strong or wound the weak and it's very simple I like it I like it then I've got a bunch of smalls that can go with the smalls. A bunch of smalls. I'm storing the smalls separately. I've got this is a, I can't pronounce the name, it's Danish. And it is the chicken egg cover, which is adorable. I need to do this. See, I haven't looked in this box in ages, which is why I'm so confused. My mom got me this one, and it's friggin' adorable, and it also needs to be made. It's the full kit. Move everything over. Also got a stack of baby clothes here, so there's, like, everything is everywhere. Then I've got this quilter square kit, which I think is just cute. And it also comes with a little square thing you put it on. 
I swear, Goodwill can be amazing for some things. Uh, this is a gift that I got from Tracy, and I love it because I love birds. I will never have birds because, of course, I have cats, but look at how cute they are. It's a full kit. I just need to do some small kits and get my, my, my stuff going. My mom got me this one for Christmas a few years ago because it's Halloween every day in my life, and it's the Mirabilia Halloween Fairy full kit. Wabam. Should put that with the mirrors, shouldn't I? And then I've got these three buttons and beads, which I also enjoy. I'm working on the owl one. I started it a few years ago for the um, Stitch Mania. Never got around to keep going on it because I got sucked into a bunch of other things. But I've got Wanda's Witchery. And these, of course, are the full kits. The Opera House. And the Haunted Mansion. Like I said, it's Halloween every day here. It's a great thing. We have a Design Works kit that I picked up at Joann's. It's a great stitching day. It says every day is a great day when I'm stitching. It's got a bit of a sampler border. So yeah, that's awesome. Like everyone and their uncle, I have a Bothy Threads kit, and I actually want to pick up more of these because apparently I'm obsessed with doing fairy tale things at the moment. And this is Sleeping Beauty, which I got because there's a spinning wheel. Also want to get the Hansel and Gretel one that has like the, the hanging skeleton. Then I have this one. I don't have fabric for it. I'm sure I, I could just look around and have fabric for it. It's Terra Australis. I did this once using um, silk that I dyed myself, and this one also came with the dinky dyes, so I'm going to do it again for, I gave that one away, so this one I want to do for myself. Um, I have the Peacock Pinwheels by Tempting Tangles. This one also lacks the uh, fabric. They suggest 28 count white Lugana, but I did get the the silks with it and I kind of want to do that one I picked this one up after I saw the lovely array did it or was working on it I don't know if she finished it I picked up the stitchy box Rhodes and rice mini twist number two sampler it looks like that and I got the kit that came with it so I have the fabric I have the the uh, silks and the beads I just need to do it. Okay, this is a giant stack. So let's go with the giant stack next, shall we? Okay, I have Miss Fortune by Prairie Schooler. I have Hocus Pocus by Prairie Schooler, which I've done. So I should move it to the done file, shouldn't I? I have As the Crow Flies, because if there's a crow, you know you know I have to have it. I've got Fables and Tales, which has the tortoise and the hare, the three bears, three blind mice, Owl and the pussycat. Again, obsessed with fairy tales for some reason. And I'm not a big, like, I don't read them a lot, and I'm not obsessed with them, like some booktubers are. But I just, I like the aesthetics. I have Little Rad, Little Rad, Little Red Riding Hood. It's kind of good I'm doing this. I forgot I had these. The Three Little Pigs. I have, which one are you? 1988 Schooler Santa. I think I should do that one up for my mom. All Hallows Eve. Heads up. I have barn cats and I was working on barn cats and uh, I had picked a different one out for each of my cats and now I'm too depressed about it so those aren't getting done. I'll do them at a different time. This can be recycled because I'm not going to finish the Let's Go on an Adventure. I don't know why I printed it all out, but whatever. Okay. Then I have all of the DMC for this one. I just don't have, clearly I need to buy more fabric. This is The Anemone Cat by Lena Lawson Needle Arts. 
which I love. I love Lena Lawson. I have the Hedgehog House, which is also done by Lena Lawson Needle Arts, and this is the artwork of Jean Baptiste Mong. And that one's got all the stuff in it. I have fully kitted this one up, and it's the Halloween Party by Just Nan. Fabric, I've got, if you, you can't tell, I've got the uh, floss in there, it looks like. Yep, all the floss ready to go. Everybody's ready to go in this one. That's the Halloween. Ah, yes, the giant one. The giant one. So I've got all the... I've got it completely kitted and bound and bobbinated and I've got the fabric. It's a massive piece of fabric. It's 18 count Ada, so clearly I was intending to do this hugely. Which I may or may not do. I might order some 25 count. I don't know. Although, sorry for the crinkle, guys. Uh, and this is Mini Wisdom Black uh, by Be Be Bandenberg. And I love it. I love this one. I may have to change this to doing it on 25 count. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll leave it on the 18 count because I wouldn't mind having it really big. Be a beast to uh, watch my doodle. But be so worth it. What's in here? Oh yeah, I started this one and I screwed it up. So there's a possibility I will restart it. However, I have all the colors for it all together. And this is the uh, Happy Bat. Because bats are awesome. And I don't know if I want to go find where I screwed up or not. These can all come out. These are just, um, this is everything I used for, I made some of these for my family back in the day, a couple of years ago. So those can go over there for now. <laughs> mm. I do want to do the Phases of the Moon from Cross Stitcher, September 2015. I have the fabric in here, and I have one of the colorways. One of the colorways, one of the colors. One of the colors is in there. Just one, though. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, people. I am not that organized. Um, needs more. Okay, and then I have this guy. I have all the DMCs for it. I have a piece of 40 by 18. I think that's 18 count. So this one's ready to go. I have a couple of these ready to go, actually. And this is the Quick Stitch Steampunk Valentine uh, by Carrie Hawks. And he looks like that. And again, I don't know if I'll, I'll size down or not. I love doing these guys on a uh, bigger fabric because they are very pretty. But it is ready to go. This needs to be bobbinated. There's some bobbinated ones, but I think it, it they need to be organized and further bobbinated, if that's a word. Can you further bobbinate? So there's that guy. Ugh. Woo! Throwing things. Throwing things. Okay. What do we have here? Oh, yes, you. This is Sadie. She is a Brooks Books witch. And I got the perforated paper so I could do her. And, yeah. I think I just need to pick up a Krennic. Okay, now we've got a giant stack. So let's go through the stack here. Shall we? Shall we? You ready to roll? You ready to rock this one? I've got Merry Christmas by Elena Ellis. It's, of course, done by Lena Lawson. This is the Christmas version of the uh, adorable sheeps I have that are just friends. I have Sue Coleman's The Raven because I love this stuff. 
and which I really want to do. I picked this one up in um, Issaquah at the the store in Issaquah that everybody goes to. Can't remember. I have Mary Cotton, Mary Cotton and her work in the year 1827. Don't know how I feel about it. Oh well. It's a freebie. It's a freebie Mirabilia. I think. Is it a Mirabilia? Yeah, it's a Mirabilia free design from the Cherub collection. And then Halloween Friends, which is also a freebie I picked up. Ooh, sea cats. This is where sea cats is. I have the mini sea cats by Heaven and Earth, and I want to do that one because it's a cat mermaid. I don't know why this one isn't with the other mirabilias. I have Deco Spirits. Deco Spirits going with the other mirrors. Don't know why it was separated from its friends. We have the bookshelf by Little House Needleworks, which I want to do and hang in my book nook. That's right, kids. I have a book nook. Do not judge. Ooh, I was going to try and find this one because I want to kit this one up. It's Long Dog Sampler's Death by Cross Stitch, which a million people are doing. And I love it. We'll throw it over there. We have Lavender and Lace Heavenly Gifts, which is adorable. We have Brooks Books Hope Angel, who is adorable, and this is a full kit, I think. Or at least it's got the beads and it's got the perf paper, so yay. We've got Dickens Christmas, which I love. And it was done in Vancouver, Washington. And it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I love those things. I love the mandala style ones. They just make me happy. Christmas Joyride. My carriage house sampling. Oh, we're into my carriage house. Seriously, did I didn't I already say Mary Cotton? Yeah, okay, I've got two of these. Someone want one? This one, I've got this one and a spare. Of, okay, we all know what I've got spares of. Let's just... Okay, so... Let's, Mary Cotton will be $5. That, that'll include shipping. And then for the Mirabilia one, let's say $10, and that'll include shipping. How's that? Message me. Uh, Joyeux Noel by Kathy Barrick. That was really nice. You could cut out the Joyeux Noel, and it would just be a nice winter scene. Not really sold on the Christmas ones. If you're really into Christmas and these ones are like tooting your horn, the Christmas Joyride or the Joyeux Noel, I think, then message me. We'll talk. We'll talk if it's really your thing. Okay, this one I like. The village. The beauty of nature loves to share the gifts she has for all. The common light, the common air crept over the village wall. What, what are you? Reindeer Games. Okay, I like that one. That has hidden meaning for me. Um, bird Study. A Study of Birds. These are all my Kathy Barracks. This is what these are. Blue Spruce. Which I also like. Rebecca. That one's awesome. That one's so awesome. Winter Swan. Is that all my Kathy Barracks? I'm not sure if that's all my Kathy Barracks. There may be more. I had a Kathy Barrack moment. And then I've got the Robin Fer Fairy, which was done by Lena Lawson. It's the Pascal Moguru. And I love Pascal Moguru's work. So I went out and tried to get many of them. We've got Finders Keepers. That was a freebie from Stitching Bits and Bobs. We've got the Ballerina Kitty by Mitzi Sato Woof. Look how cute is that? 
Oh, we're back to Kathy. Susanna. Oh, Susanna. Don't you cry for me. When this thing falls over, it's going to go everywhere. We have Swan. Oh, how I await the break of dawn when the swan floats on the river's edge and creeps upon the lawn. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't. <coughs> Sorry, guys. I couldn't help myself. Grace Magaz Sampler. This one also is not doing much for me. So, five bucks if you want it. Uh, a Time Farmhouse. This one's cute. I like that. The House of Hawk Run Hollow. The Houses. How can you resist a Hawk Run Hollow? You can't. You could try, but you'd be silly. Tonight is Halloween. Shadows of a thousand years rise unseen. Notice the whispers in the trees. Tonight is Halloween. Oh, yeah. Gotta do that one. That one needs to go on the mantle just and just stay there forever. We've got Prairie Moons, which I got at, again, in Issaquah. Everybody knows it. Uh, this is Missing You. I should throw all these over here with this one. This is uh, Native American, which of course I needed. It's a bunch of different little guys. Uh, we have Queen of Halloween, which I am. I could feign that I'm not, but I am. Uh, black cats for Halloween. Look, look, it's it's my mouse and my chin chin. My Chen Chen. That's what I call Kachansky. I like these polar bears. I've got a thing of polar bears. Uh, which can go with the animal one. We've got more Jean Baptiste. This is the Raven Queen, and isn't she amazing? Kind of reminds me of Canuck. Canuck the Crow. We've got the Great Journey. Which again, I also love. Basically, any small gnome riding a rodent makes me a happy person. We've got Hazel the Witch, who has a little bitchy bat hanging off of her broom. And this is the Sylvia Zet, also Lena Lawson. Got a couple of freebies. I don't know where I picked those up from. I got a piece of blank paper that I don't need in here. French chocolates. It's cute. It does nothing for me, though. I guess if it does something for you, um, shoot me a message. Throw that one in there. That'll be... We'll also call that one $5. Basically, it's $5 for everything. Except the Mirabilia, which is $10. Um, William Morris Angli Laudet. Not my type of angels. Don't know why I have it. I think I got this in a stack. And so yeah, if this is your if this is your digs, message me five dollars. Also, this one needs to leave my house, and quite frankly, it's gonna be three dollars, and that includes shipping. Because basically, then I just recoup the shipping costs. Uh, and this is toys, and it's a Mogaru, but I hate it. It creeps me out. Cause clowns creep me out. So if this is your thing, please, by all means, make it leave my house. And that, kids, is everything I have, except for the stuff that I've started or the stuff that's in my living room. That does not count the books. This is just stuff I have that's either in a stage of getting up or that is a single pattern or something. And now I have to put it all back in the box. But yeah. So if any of the ones that I've mentioned are that I'm not, that I have two of or that I'm not a big fan of, that I bought in like a slew of something, or if you're really into Christmas and you need these, then shoot me a message. I'm pretty amiable. Uh, yeah. And 
I will probably be doing my update closer to the end of September, but not at the end of September right before because I'll be traveling back home to Regina for the baby shower. So, I guess, until the next time, I shall see you later. Bye.